Mr. President, Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, I welcome this opportunity to address the Assembly on behalf of the Government of the United Kingdom, and I pass on the best wishes of and a message of support from the UK Foreign Secretary. On its creation, the ICC was described by the then UN Secretary General as a giant step forward in the march towards universal human rights and indeed the rule of law. It was a watershed moment in international justice intended to help tackle the culture of impunity that characterizes so many armed conflicts around the world. A court of last resort, the ICC was ready to take action when a country could not or would not investigate and prosecute those alleged to have committed international crimes. For our part, the UK remains absolutely committed to this vision. We remain determined that the court should be an effective means of ensuring that all victims of the most serious international crimes have access to justice. And we also remain determined that all would-be perpetrators know that they can and will be held to account for their actions. Since the ICC's establishment, we have seen notable successes in situations under the court's purview. The United Kingdom has been proud to support the work of the court. In addition to contributing to the annual budget, we enforce sentences, we protect witnesses, and we are proud to support the work of the Trust Fund for Victims. It was as a great supporter of the ICC that in 2018, the United Kingdom, along with other like-minded state parties, called for action to reform and indeed strengthen the court. We therefore welcomed the establishment of the Independent Expert Review, recognising that the court could improve in a number of fundamental areas, from leadership to efficiency, from working culture in the organisation to its expertise. The resulting report was the basis for a process for strengthening the court itself. And we thank the court and the review mechanism team for taking this important work forward. And we also welcome that progress has been made. However, important work, as we all recognise, still remains to be done. Despite, indeed, because of the many pressures the ICC faces, now is not the time to step back. This year, we look forward to focus on the implementation of key recommendations, building on the improvements already made. Indeed, this will be crucial to continue strengthening this important international court. We also look forward to action to ensure the introduction of an effective and practical tenure policy at the court. These steps will allow us all to continue to build a more effective and efficient ICC that ultimately serves its objective and is best placed to deliver justice for victims. This objective is one that remains both timely and relevant. When we look towards Russia's brutal, illegal and unjustified invasion of a sovereign state, Ukraine, and the subsequent overwhelming evidence of atrocities against the civilian population, including abhorrent allegations of crimes of sexual violence, has once again brought into sharp focus the need for both accountability and justice, and the role of the international community in holding perpetrators of crimes to account. I assure you, both the Foreign Secretary and I welcome the Court's work in investigating these allegations and the ICC's ongoing work to ensure all victims have access to justice wherever crimes take place within the Court's jurisdiction. Since its creation, the ICC has been instrumental in ensuring that impunity is not the default. That is a role I know the Court will continue to play and it's an institution we, the United Kingdom, are extremely proud to support. In that regard, it is only right 
to end this statement of mine by paying tribute to a real pillar of this institution, the Registrar Peter Lewis, who steps down after five years of distinguished service to the ICC. On behalf of the United Kingdom, we thank Peter for his excellent work, his stewardship of the court, often through what have been quite trying and difficult times. And we all wish him well in whatever comes next. Looking ahead, we of course look forward to also supporting the next registrar to carry on this important work. Thank you so much.